Hello all, my name is Krishna Hayek and welcome to my vlogging channel. So guys, yet another motivational video and in this video, we are going to discuss about the saying that is, it is never too late to start something. Now, just by seeing or just by uh, reading this particular statement, I hope you're understanding it, but I really want to tell you a story which I had actually seen in the recent times, you know. So there was a guy uh, who was somewhere around 15 years of experience in an IT company and that particular company, I'll not name it, it's, it was a service based company and the kind of role that he was actually doing was a kind of program manager. So he used to watch my data science videos and suddenly one, or one fine day he joined my telegram group and he contacted me and he messaged me saying that uh, Krish, uh, uh, right now I'm working in so and so companies, uh, he also wanted some career guidance uh, things. Uh, he was saying that Krish, I'm uh, somewhere around 15 years experience. Uh, I'm working for this particular company that I've never changed even a single company itself. Uh, what I feel is that nowadays my role is becoming pretty much stagnant because I'm doing just a similar kind of work. Now I've seen your data science videos. I was really impressed by seeing those videos. Can I make a transition towards data science? Then I said, yes, everybody can make a transition. Everybody can apply their knowledge because data science AI is a thing that probably after coming four to five years, you know, everybody will be using in their uh, industries you know whatever domain that they are working in but the next question that arised was that he said that Krish uh, from the past 15 years uh, you know I've just seen or I've just done that kind of role uh, you know and I've not like the change of thoughts that I can come like that, that can come to me you know will something bad happen if probably if I go and try for a data science role probably uh, the first problem that I may face is that learning that data science subjects. I may face a lot of difficulties. I don't have that much programming experience because he was saying that 10 years back he left programming and then he moved into a program management role, right? So after that, will it be very, very easy? Will it be a little bit difficult for him to understand programming? Will he be able to implement some end-to-end -end projects? And based on that many number of years of experience, if he makes a transition to data science, will he be able to satisfy his role in the company probably in the company he's trying to work right because once he get a data science role he'll make a switch to the other company right so i just told him two things guys the main two concern was is that his years of experience was more right 15 plus years of experience and since he's working in only one kind of company company his work role is almost stagnant he was doing the similar kind of work every day each and every day right so he had that particular fear right then I just said him this particular word, this, this line, it's never too late to start something, right? I told him that it's okay. See, you have a job, you have a permanent job. You do that particular job. Now, since your role has become stagnant, you know that you're not doing something more innovative, more productive. And he also said me one thing that his salary was also less. Okay. His salary was also less. Just trust me that within that 15 years of experience, uh, if I compare with respect to the market, his salary was very, very far below. Yes, uh, he went to some of the foreign trips. He came back, uh, but uh, till the time he was in India, his salary was very, very low. Now, this was the main concern. Then I just told him this particular word. It, it's never too late to start something. I just told him that, okay, fine. Uh, you have a permanent job, okay? You keep on doing it. You are a project manager. Try to learn data science. Okay, what will what will the thing that will happen if you try to learn data science tomorrow? You may have new ideas. You may pitch your client with new different kind of projects. Probably you may get that particular project. You may be handling that project as an analytics manager. And if I talk about analytics manager, guys, it is a very rare role. Okay, it is a very, very rare role. And the package is pretty much good with respect to analytics manager. Okay, because analytics manager is the person who needs to, who's basically handling multiple teams. Let it be the big data team, cloud team, the data science team, data analyst team, so many people. Apart from that, he needs to have the knowledge of all these things also, right? So considering this, after that, I told him, okay, see, you have your job, keep preparing it. Tomorrow, if you get an opportunity, go for that, you know? When you are planning to go over there, probably you may have implemented some of the things. Try to implement some of the projects in your company also whenever you get a chance. It may, it may not be an end-to-end -end project, but you are a project manager. Probably you want to show something to the client. Just implement small, small modules and try to do it. And he was pretty much satisfied with that. 
and this thing i'm talking back 9 months back guys i had this conversation with that guy 9 months back he started preparing okay he learned data science he implemented some amazing modules he also implemented some of the projects in his company that he was actually working and because of that he told that uh, one of the client gave them a good uh, a, a single project specifically on that specific task so there was a big project that was going on two to three modules you can understand that they were trying to implement in that data science domain okay now he got the experience of handling that part also he learned more and more now he's pretty much happy he was pretty much confident right he was pretty much happy he was pretty much confident because he implemented that complete end to end modules and one day just two to three months back he made a successful switch and guys uh, the role that he got was analytics manager and the salary hike that he got was pretty much amazing it was somewhere around 200% hike and that 200% hike that which he got trust me it was based on his work his experience that he has just done in that specific company right he implemented those modules completely and end within 7 to 8 months right and then he made this particular switch then uh, i again had a conversation with him he used to be in touch with me he used to always message me uh, in the telegram group and all and that day he told that krish what you said that particular terminology that this particular saying it's never too late to start something he was 15 years of experience guys he's married he's having two kids okay he also has to take care of them right and he was also having the fear okay if i try to switch will i be able to do that particular work for the longer period what if i made a switch over there but there i'm not able to do that specific work based on my years of experience now and anybody guys anybody whenever you see an experienced person you know because from the past 10 years or past 12 years whatever they have actually done if you try to give them a some change they'll be a little bit hesitant to do that i've seen that in my a uh, real world experience also i have seen that in my career experience also right so this is the terminology that i really wanted to tell guys it's never too late to start okay you start over there try to devote much more time and once you devote some sufficient amount of time you will be able to crack anything in your life guys you just need to have dedication you need to have lot of confidence you need to make your motivation pretty much high you need to be disciplined enough to do that specific work and you need to be very very much serious right so i hope you have understood this idea i hope you like this particular story guys uh this is the story i really wanted to tell you all because this is an amazing thing this is an amazing story which actually helps me also to learn right this is what uh, suggestion that i had given because of that suggestion i have only learned when i am able to see that yes there is something good happening right so i hope you like this particular video again guys it's it is never too late to start anything take the best example of kfc's founder right i hope everybody has had food in kfc right go and see lot of uh, you know people who have created amazing business at the later ages when they were very very much like uh, they were when they were in the old ages more than 50 plus years i have also seen some of the actors who are pretty much doing well when they have just started their acting career after 50 plus years and there are many more actors both in india and in hollywood countries and all right so it is never too late to start and i also have a person in my neighbor uh, who is somewhere around 45 years of uh, age and he just started playing lawn tennis just a year back and now probably he's playing like anything guys he's such an expert in that specific game so that is the reason why i'm saying guys it's never too late to start something so i hope you like this particular video please do subscribe to the channel if you are not subscribed i'll see you all in the next video have a great day thank you one and all bye bye